Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh by Shem Awashah, by Shem Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and salutation, you brothers. Hopefully, elect out there pushing this word and truth and sincerity. Alright. Uh, this video is going to be the finish line is just ahead. Alright. So, just doing this quick video here to just kind of go into. We are literally right at the door, you know. That time is upon us. So, don't fall out. You know, don't give up. Because that finish line is right there. We can literally see it. <clears throat> All right. Times is going to get a little harder, you know, for that final push. But we ain't, we got to make that final push. You know, we in that home stretch. All right. So, I want to get a couple of scriptures. <clears throat> this is a... Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and I'm going to start at verse 6 it says ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness alas for that gray salaki alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? So, like a woman in travail, with, like I said, with that great, with that last push, you know? <clears throat> because once, once the whole process of childbearing begins, it doesn't stop. You know, it once it starts, it continues on until it's finally finished. And that's going to be uh, leading, up, leading us into a time of Jacob's trouble. But it says, but he shall be saved out of it. <clears throat> okay? So, we have to have our confidence in Yahweh Bashem HaOshai. We cannot lose that confidence in him. Because he, you know, is our only hope. <clears throat> this is... Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 8 <clears throat> it says behold I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their forehead okay now we have to be grounded and rooted in what we believe we have to know in what we believe you know, we believe in Yahweh Bashem HaOshai. And we have to know that. We have to be grounded, rooted, steadfast, you know, unshaken, built upon that solid foundation. Okay? So our face must be hard against these people's faces. Uh, I know this was in reference to uh, Yasha Allah, but... Uh, even uh, even Esau Edom, our face has to be hard against our enemy's faces, okay? Our face has to be strong against theirs, all right? Because we're not going to be shaken. We're not going to be uh, wavered. Nothing, nothing, We like I said, we are going to be rooted. You know, the whole field elect will be rooted in it, all right? <clears throat> This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. It says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay? So that great dragon, uh, you saw Edom get wroth with the woman. And they come to make war with the woman's seed, which is Israel's seed. Okay? And what do the seed do? They the, the ones that keep the commandments of the Most High. And we have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Uh, the Hopeful Elect have that testimony. The Hopeful Elect are the ones that are going to keep the commandments to the best of their abilities. Okay? And they hate that. You know? 
because they have uh they already have the other people you know they already have the heathen nations and, e and even the two-thirds of our people but they want that one-third they want that elect but they can't get it because the elect does not belong to them okay so that's why they will never bow to the image of Baal all right <clears throat> It says Second Ezra chapter two verse forty seven. Uh, says, so he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Okay, elect are gonna stand stiffly on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? You know, we we you know the whole elect. We're gonna stand stiffly on that name. They cannot be changed. That can be waived. It don't matter what you throw against them. Okay, we we praying to keep that spirit on us to be able to continue to withstand what's coming. Okay, because we understand this. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Okay? We uh, want to stand, you want to stand stiffly for the most high power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because through Yahweh Shai is how we overcome, and we'll inherit all things, we'll inherit the earth. You know, we'll inherit all, you know, this kingdom of heaven. Okay? But we have to stand stiffly. We have to make our faces hard. And we cannot be moved. Okay? We are at the finish line. It's just ahead. It's within our sights. This that home stretch. This that final push. The, the same way the spirit was put on uh, an apostle to hard to go out and say, uh, you know, make a video every day. Okay. That's that final push. Now we need to push as hard as we can. We need to push even harder. Do more. Study more. Read more. Pray more. Fast more. Get close to your power. Okay. Teach more. All right. Finish line just ahead. All right. Shalom.